avoid surprises, and prevent misunderstandings. A stable relationship between the world's two largest economies is not merely good for the two economies, but for the world. A stable relationship. It's good for everyone. Biden Dream Meeting. The key takeaways. Hello and welcome. This is Newsfest Addis, your daily source of news bites locally, regionally, and internationally. On November 15, 2023, U.S. President Joe Biden and Chinese President Xi Jinping met in San Francisco, California, on the sidelines of the Asia Pacific Economic Cooperation Summit. This was their second face to face meeting since the Biden took office and their seventh interaction overall. The meeting came amid heightened tensions and competitions between the two countries over a range of issues such as trade, technology, human rights, Taiwan, the South China Sea, and the Israel Hamas war. The meeting lasted for about three hours and both leaders agreed to maintain open and candid communication, avoid conflict and confrontation, and cooperate on global challenges. Here are some of the key takeaways from the meeting. Restoring military communication. One of the main goals of the meeting was to re-establish the military-to-military -military communication channels that were cut off by China in August 2022 after then-Speaker Nancy Pelosi visited Taiwan. The U.S. officials said that Biden was determined to restore the crucial communication, but China appeared to be reluctant to do so. The U.S. officials also said that the incidents of a Chinese spy balloon being shot down by the U.S. fighter jet in February 2023 came up often in the discussion about the military silence. The lack of communication between the two militaries increases the risk of miscalculation and exploration in the region, especially over Taiwan and the South China Sea. The two leaders agreed to resume the dialogue between their defense ministers as soon as possible and to establish a hostile line between them. Managing competition and cooperation. The meeting also aimed to manage the strategic competition between the two countries and to identify areas of potential cooperation. The U.S. officials said that they were cleared eye about the challenges posed by China and that they did not expect China to change its behavior or policies. However, they also said that they expect China to be a major player on the world stage for the rest of their lifetime and that they wanted to prevent the relationship from spearing into conflict or confrontation. The two leaders agreed to respect each other's core interests and major concerns and to avoid actions that would undermine mutual trust and stability. They also agreed to work together on transitional issues that affect the international community, such as climate change, pandemic response, nuclear proliferation, and counterterrorism, addressing regional and global issues. The meeting also covers a range of regional and global issues that are mutual interests or concern to both countries. The U.S. officials said that Biden raised the issue of human rights and democracy in China, especially in Xinjiang, Hong Kong, and Tibet. He also retreated the U.S. commitment to the One China policy, but expressed concern about China's military activities and coalitions around Taiwan. He urged China to refrain from unilateral actions that would change the status quo or security tensions across the Taiwan Strait. The two leaders also discussed the situation in the southern China and eastern China seas, where China has been asserting its territorial claims and building artificial islands and military facilities. They agreed to abide by the international law and norms and to avoid actions that would endanger peace and stability in the region. On the issue of trade and technology, the two leaders acknowledged the importance of maintaining a fair and balanced economic relationship and agreed to resume the negotiations on the phase two trade deal that was tilled under the Trump administration. They also agreed to enhance the dialogue and cooperation on innovation, cybersecurity, and intellectual property rights. On the issue of the Israel Hamas war, the two leaders agreed to support the efforts of the United Nations and other parties to end the violence and achieve a lasting peace in the Middle East. They also agreed to coordinate their positions and actions 
on Iran's nuclear program and to urge Iran to return to the complaints with the 2015 nuclear deal. Building personal rapport. The meeting also served as an opportunity for the two leaders to build personal rapport and trust, which is essential for managing the complex and competitive relationship between the two countries. The U.S. officials said that Biden and Xi have known each other for a long time and that they have a certain familiarity and comfort with each other. They also said that the meeting was cordial and respectful and that the two leaders exchanged views on their personal backgrounds, experiences and visions. The two leaders also exchanged gifts that reflect their cultural and historical ties. Biden gave Xi a painting of a Golden Gate Bridge by a Chinese-American artist and a book of poems by Walt Whitman. Xi gave Biden a silk scroll with a calligraphy of a poem by Li Bia and a Tang Dynasty poet and a porcelain vase with a blue and white design of a dragon and a phoenix. The meeting between Biden and Xi was widely seen as a positive and constructive step to stabilize and improve the U.S.-China relationship, which is arguably the most important bilateral relationship in the world. The meeting also demonstrated the willingness and ability of the two leaders to communicate and cooperate on the common challenges while managing and respecting their differences and interests. However, the meeting also revealed the deep and persistent gaps and disagreements between the two countries on various issues such as human rights, Taiwan, trade and technology. The meeting also did not produce any concrete or substantive outcomes or deliverables such as arguments, joint statements or action plans. The meeting was more about setting the tone and direction for the future of the relationship rather than resolving the existing problems or defeats. Therefore, the meeting should be seen as a beginning, not an ending, of a long and difficult process of engagement in dialogue between the two countries. The meeting also raised the expectations and responsibilities for both sides to follow up and implement the understanding and commitments made during the meeting, and to avoid actions that would undermine or derail the, pro the progress is made. The meeting also highlighted the need for both sides to work with other countries and partners in the region and the world to address the common challenges and opportunities that affect the peace and prosperity of the international community. The meeting between Biden and G was a historic and a significant event, but it was not a game changer or a silver bullet. It was a step forward, not a leap forward, in the US-China relationship. This was our news analysis for the day. Thank you very much for staying with us. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video.